I am Neville Kati. I'm originally from Cameroon. I'm a Cameroonian, but currently I live in Ghana. And I've been in search for a front-end front -end engineering role. I've been searching for about six months. I applied to a lot of jobs. And, but one thing I wasn't really doing so much was keeping track of the companies I had applied to. All the jobs, there, was really, there wasn't really any positive feedback after applying. Either they don't apply, they don't reply to my emails, or it's, oh, sorry, we'll get back to you in case of anything. I wish you best of luck, you know, the rejection emails. So it wasn't really so fun, but one thing I just settled my mind on was this remote world is for a particular few, or there's some extra skill you need to have in order to land a remote role. So it was just far more difficult than I had anticipated. The major challenge I had it had to do with me selling myself, ex selling myself as a front-end engineer or a software engineer to a potential employer. And I think that was the main thing because that did not only affect how much I could or the kind of jobs I could get, it also affected my confidence as an individual and as uh, an, an engineer, basically, in every aspect. So when I'm talking with someone, I can't really, I really have that challenge of expressing myself or selling myself or making that person feel I can actually get the job done. I think that was the main challenge I had prior to joining Remote Repair. Most certainly, certainly. I believe the one thing Remote re Rebellion made me understand was the online space is just like a an open world where anybody can join you and your chances of being able to get something from there depends a lot on how active you are in that space. So I remember Michelle told us a lot to be active on LinkedIn, contribute more. It doesn't only in improve or increase your chances of being seen by potential employers, but also it gives you that exposure which is the exposure you actually need in the online space. And I think that's, that's the one thing that made me, that clarified a lot about myself because I was just in my you know, small bubble doing my own thing and hoping that, wow, someday I'll apply to a job and I'll get the job. But then I came to realize that it's a lot about who really knows you out there that would you would say this person can okay recommend you or link you up to a potential job or something because it's more about the exposure you have it's more about who knows you and a little less about what you really can do so i think that's a clarification that remote rebellion helped me get because i'd been applying it's not like i wasn't applying but then the exposure i really needed to get the jobs i wanted i really didn't have I think the first um, module we had was about preparing yourself for the remote market. I'm just paraphrasing, that wasn't exactly it, but that was the whole sense. And I really didn't think, um, you know, applying for jobs, you really had to set yourself for the remote world. I felt like well if you have just a laptop and well you can apply for jobs <laughs> i really didn't have the mind of there is a conditioning you have to set yourself to in terms of how your workspace is like how you interact with people everything about you has to communicate that okay i am ready for the remote world and that was one i think that was the first module on yeah, that I, I got to to watch and it made me understand that, well, the re remote work or searching for a remote job is not entirely about, okay, you're searching for a job. It's 
a lifestyle you try to live by which it's that one of the main um, lessons that I picked that I really remember vividly was this aspect of atomic habits where the aspect of doing things doing small things in order to be the big person you want to have the big person you want to be so if you have maybe a big vision and all doing the small things the small actions to achieve that goal i think that was the one thing it didn't really strike me prior to the program prior to the program i really didn't think i would exp- i would see that because so well, what does that have to do with looking for a remote job but in the end i found that module and that has really helped me not in not just in the aspect of getting a remote job but it some it's something that cuts across i think i mentioned that to michelle so um during one of the weekly calls and that's something that has cut across every aspect of our life because in everything we have particular end goals we want to achieve and it's in those atomic habits, those little things that we really meet up to what we really want to achieve. So those were the two main things that, the two main things during the course of the program that really stood out and I really didn't expect to get that I got them. So yeah, those, those are the two. I'll say the one thing that made made them something was the fact that you get to interact with other people because i believe the program ran for 12 weeks it's a 12 weeks program one thing that really made me pushed me in some way to keep going was the calls because when you get on the calls you talk with other people and in some way it gives you that boost i think there was this lady but she worked at, she got a job at Toyota. When I heard that lady's story, it really got me, it really gave me the boost because I was like, I've been in this program for about eight months, eight weeks or more, and I haven't gotten a job. <laughs> and she got a job. I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> really patience, peace. So just be patient and put in the work. So that was one thing that the course really helped me with with the aspect of, although I'm going slow now, I'm feeling a little discouraged now, but having that talk with people, having that interaction, that one eye interaction really gives you that, okay, let me just put in this extra extra work. Let me just go again. Let me just go again. It's not all over yet. So that extra confidence is one thing that I really pick you know, from the course. For the job, it was by referrals. It was by referral. Someone referred me to it. And one thing that Michelle always mentioned was we would go to LinkedIn and search potential recruiters and connect to people. So it got to a point I was just connecting. I was just connecting. If I see you, I like you. <laughs> I like your job description. I see that, yeah, you can help me in some way. I, I was sent you a connect request and I just sent a lot. And there was this guy, he met me one time while we were chatting and he said, there's an opening for a role. It's a Kenyan company. They are looking to do a build an admin dashboard. So it's a short contract. It's a, it was a three months um, contract. So he said, he asked me if I was interested in getting on it. I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's a job I'm looking for, yeah. So he linked me up. I, I had an interview with the with the hiring manager and we spoke. The interview went really well. I remember prior to the interview, I had to complete a module, uh, module, module 10, if I'm not wrong, but it's about prepping you for interviews. So I was like, I've been doing interviews wrong. Why don't I just go through the modules and <laughs> pick the wisdom I could pick on? After the interview, he sent me an email with that. Okay, he will start working on the NDA and the contract for the role because he was actually impressed with how the interview went and everything. So that was how he started off as a referral and then graduated to, well, a job. Because I was able to impress the 
the hiring manager. And yeah, I started on the 21st, 21st of last month, that was July. Oh, August, rather, sorry. 21st of August. And yeah, it's been beautiful so far. It's been beautiful. Yeah, so that, that's it. That's it. I got the job. It's a three month contract, and hopefully, it's going to extend a full time. Group. It's just been a beautiful journey. It's really been beautiful. When I started off, I was like, oh, let's just give this another try. Let's just give this another try and see how it's going to lead us. But if there's one thing I can say is, yeah, Vimode Rebellion, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. The, aside the fact that it helps you get the job, I think that's one thing I really love about the program. And about my confidence, when I started, I remember Michelle mentioned that um, one thing I should really work on is my confidence. And yes, I would say that has greatly improved, especially after I got the job. The, my confidence level has gone from five to about 12. I don't know what is measured against, but yes, it's just doubled because yeah, it's really helped me understand that there's really more to it than you see. There's, you're much better than you might really consider yourself to be. So it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. It helps life. <laughs> I'll make this too money. <laughs> so that, yeah, but that aside, it's really been an amazing experience and I'm really grateful for being, for being part of that journey. Thank you so much.